Hi, it's Jeff with Oru Kayak, and today we're going to be doing some self rescues. That's when you don't have a partner, you gotta you gotta get back in your boat on your own. So with the self rescue, once you exit the boat, make sure that you hold on to the paddle. Super important to have your paddle with you. That's the one thing that's going to blow away in the wind. You want to have your paddle with you. You want to get to the stern, the back of the boat. When you can get to the stern of the boat. You're going to get up on top of the stern. You're going to move your way onto the boat, getting your life vest on the back deck. And then using the cockpit rim to kind of slide yourself closer and closer uh, to the seat of the kayak. As you're doing that, you want to spread your legs out. That's going to give you more balance. The wider they are and the more they're in the water, that's going to get you the best balance. Once you get up to where your seat can get in the seat, then it's really good to have this sculling brace. There's another video on the sculling brace, you can check that out. But ultimately, something where you keep the paddle on top of the water and that's going to get give you that third like tripod stance to be able to get your feet in. Something like that. We're going to go ahead and get the feet in, then we can kind of get ourselves adjusted, get the skirt back on. There's going to be water in the boat. There's just no way around it when you do a self rescue unless you're a polo player and you have a fantastic egg beater where you can kick your feet and get that boat up high. You're going to have water in the boat. It's not a big deal. You have a bilge pump. You're going to just pump that out, sponge out some of the water. Usually within a minute or two, you'll be back on the water and paddling. The cowboy reentry is going to be probably your go-to for self-rescue. There are some other self-rescue techniques. There's paddle float reentries. The paddle float reentry is really something that's going to go on the paddle. It's going to be out here sort of like that sculling brace to give you something to lean against when you're getting in. Um, that's something if the cowboy is not easy for you, you might check that out. Um, that's called the paddle float reentry. When you're doing a self rescue and why you would do a self rescue is because you find yourself either paddling by yourself on a day or maybe you couldn't find other people to paddle with or you've gotten yourself so far away um, from the people you were paddling with that you have to rescue yourself. There's plenty of opportunities where you can capsize. Most of the time it's when your head and spine are not over the center of the boat. Once you get into this position, if you don't have a sculling brace or another type of brace, you may find yourself upside down. And when you do find yourself upside down and there's no one to rescue you, self-rescue is your only option. Um, knowing how to do a, a cowboy, having practiced how to do a cowboy reentry, um, certainly is going to make you feel better when you're out there paddling. Really, you should try to always paddle with someone else, um, and that's typically going to be the case. But if you find yourself away from them, or you find yourself on a day where you didn't expect it, you would even go in the water, and you end up doing it. It's really good to know at least one of the self-rescue techniques. And I think the cowboy reentry is kind of the go-to for anyone that has spent some time doing self-rescue. So find a place to practice that. Pools, lakes, some place that's mellow in the bay. Um, once you get it down, you might want to practice that in rougher conditions where if it doesn't go well, you're going to get blown back into shore um, or there's someone there that can actually give you an assist. But just, you know, practice these things so that you have the technique down. I hope that's helpful for getting you back in the boat as a self-rescue technique. If you want more educational videos, you can go ahead and check out orukayak.com and I look forward to seeing you out there on the water.